what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're doing a little safety upgrade in the z a little bit of uh weight shedding too um i guess it's time we're gonna pull the interior out of the back of this thing i've already started took the carpet and the mat up um i'm gonna take the spare tire out all the spare tools all this plastic back here um and then we'll, i'll probably leave the plastic up here um just so that it looks a little nicer from there forward um but basically there's the harness bar up there so this is going to hold us over for the rest of the year um at the end of the year the plan is to, to take this to get it caged so we can start running uh you know pro-am events if we need to um well not if we need to uh eventually we do want to do pro-am events and you need a cage for that so but for now until next year when we really start getting into the pro-am stuff and can do the cage and do all that stuff this will allow us to safely put a, a harness in the car because we have the the corbo racing seat already um but don't have the where was i the harness in so we've been using the factory seat belts uh, and they work okay but in the event that we would get in a an accident they're not gonna hold you like the harness will they're designed to work with airbags obviously we have an aftermarket steering wheel so we don't have airbags anymore and so we just you know i kind of want that added level of you know one safety and then two the harness is going to hold us in the seat better so we're going to move around even less than we do now so uh let's get to it let's get this interior pulled out and then we'll get that harness bar in um, I'm waiting on the harness. It should be here tomorrow, but we'll at least get the harness bar and get all this plastic and everything out of the Z. Uh, I guess we're going full race car, so, or half race car. So let's get to it. So, after careful consideration, I think that that is just the Bose radio stuff. I think it's like the GPS and antenna unit. I'm taking it out. I don't even have that shit anymore. So, it's coming out. guys so we got the kind of hard to see in that hole over there it's dark 
Um, we got all the plastic trim out of here. Obviously took the spare out. Um, because this thing stays on a trailer most of the time. So now we got all that done, got all that weight shed. I forgot I even had that spare tire in there. So, you know, there's that. Um, anyway, it's so much cooler right here than it is in the garage. It's so hot in here. Um, anyway, rant over. Now we gotta put that harness bar in. I guess so, you can see this thing is gonna bolt, if I can get my camera there, to that, and the same thing on the other side, to that seatbelt holder over there. Now, I think we're gonna have to lose these. I'm not 100% sure though. If I can retain them, I will, um, because I'm not changing this seatbelt on this side. So, I'd like to keep it if I can. Um, that way passengers can still ride. Um, but if I have to, we'll ditch it. Uh, just depends. So, um, something in my bug flew in my mouth or something. It's gross. Anyway, so we gotta get those two um, seatbelt mounts off out the way. And then it looks like the rear part of the, the bar bolts to where this uh, bracket is. I think there's one on either side. Yeah, the bolt's just missing. It's right there by that clip that flew off. Um, so, we'll get these two things taken off, get it out of the way, slide the bar in, and bolt it up. It should be that easy. We'll see. the story of our life something has gone awry and uh damn it did not try the seat belt thing once before one-handed and it didn't work anyway um i've got to go get a 10 by 125 tap and die because either a the bolt hole that goes into the chassis is damaged or B the bolts damaged or both A and B are damaged um, so we're heading to see if we can get a tap and die if not we will be SOL at least on that side and we'll try to get the other side in um, on the driver's side and if I can't get the tap and die to tonight um, I'm just going to go to Drew's, uh, work tomorrow, and scoop it up. So, that's the plan, Stan. So, we'll see you back at the house. Hopefully this works. So, we got it, but we had to buy the whole kit. Not that it was that expensive, but um, that's always the way, you know. You have to buy the whole kit to get one little part. Um, and, you know, the kit was, what, I don't know, 30 bucks. So, not that big a deal. But, when a decent regular tap is like 8 bucks by itself, I don't know how good those other ones are going to be. Man, I'm sure they'll work for this one bolt, but it always, you know, it's always the way back for day number two of this. It seems like all my installs go two days. I don't know why. Maybe I start too late in the day. 
But anyway, we went and got these guys from Drew at the shop. So we've got the 12 by 125 tap and 12 by 125 die. So <clears throat> we're gonna fix up the bolt and the mount on this B pillar and get the harness bar installed finally. And then the harness came in, so we'll get that wrapped up. We've gotta do an oil change and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's get going. As the weather's pretty crap. The uh, supposed to be a severe thunderstorm. It hadn't been severe yet, but we'll see. All right, so we got that corner in finally. Um, I think it still went in a little wonky, but it's in. It's tight. Um, this car is getting a cage eventually, and I'm probably going to buy another harness for the passenger side, uh, even just using the stock seat. Sorry, got you guys looking out in the road. Anyway, um, just because that bolt hole is a little, I, I don't think it's going anywhere, but it would just make me feel better knowing that, you know, they've got a harness around the harness bar. I know the bar's not going anywhere. It's going to be in there uh, on a couple of different points. So I'll probably just bite the bullet and buy another harness. Um, anyway, now we gotta tighten up the two rear bolts and get the driver's side in um, and going. I, I started it, but I didn't tighten it. So we'll go ahead and tighten them all up and then we'll wrap the harness around the bar. And then we just get to do the, just the oil change and uh, squippy swap some tires again. Yay. But I won't bore you guys with all that. Yeah, that's like the second time today you guys have fallen down. Have you uh, been drinking? Okay, now, I need to move this tire out of the way. Ugh. We need to pull this seat belt out, which means we need to take this panel off. We might have to take, I think we can get through it. We might have to get through it through the sub. I don't know, we'll see. If I gotta take the sub out or sub off, it's coming out, I'm taking everything out. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, cause I wanna take this completely out. I don't want it hanging in here, so. Um, we'll get these panels off and then get that seatbelt out and get it out the way. So in order to make this a little easier, just pull the seat, get it out of our way, be able to get back here and work a little easier. So, um, let's get this seatbelt out. So pull that panel off. I think we can just pull the sub out. It's not hooked up anymore. We'll pull the sub out and then uh, I think we can go right through here and get it unbolted. So let's do that. All right, guys. We got the seatbelt out right here, this guy. Uh, I think we're going to need this bolt right here off the end. Probably that spacer, too. So we'll end up getting that off there. But let's, uh, let's get all our tools and everything cleaned up so we can work in here. We'll vacuum out this side of the car real quick. And then we'll start putting that harness on.
want to have your harness, your belt set up like this, where it's just run through your buckle just one time, right? And you want to go through your slot on the seat. Uh, man down. I'm not going to worry about that over there. Um, anyway, where was I? So, you want to pull this slack out so you get it about even with your other harness. Should be about here. And what you want to do is you want to go underneath the roll bar, like so. And you want to come back up through it. Pull your slack up through. Make sure you're not twisted on your belt. Then you want to go through your bottom hole here. I had to think about it for a second. Kind of like that. Get your belt tight against the roll bar. And then you want to take this excess and you want to go through the top portion here. So I'm probably sweating like crazy, but it is warm in here. And then we can adjust the slack here and here, um, which we'll end up having to do, but that's how you wrap it. And then basically you roll all of this excess up uh, and then zip tie it over here. So. I still got to get in these uh, seats and, you know, kind of get them where they fit. And then there's excess on the bottom end that you can adjust from. So as long as we're close, you know, we can kind of fine tune it with that at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to get these evened up so where they look nice, uh, get them all rolled up. And uh, I'll show you kind of the uh, final product. But uh, I mean, as far as install goes, they're both in. Got everything on the seat bolted. Got the side uh, lap belts where the seat belt buckle would have normally gone and where the uh, actual seat belt would have mounted to the chassis so uh, we should be good to go here so we're gonna kind of get it all tidied up and then uh, I'll show you that well here it is guys harnesses installed got them looped up back there ready to go let me swing you around so you can see the harness bar. But that should be a whole lot better than a stock seatbelt. Um, kind of strapped in, got uh, got it everything pretty tight. Um, you know, I couldn't really move, but maybe you know, quarter of an inch. Um, in there once you get all the uh, uh, shoulder straps and everything tight I mean you're not moving um, so I think it's gonna even hold me even better than just having the seat and the stock seat belt obviously uh, passenger side everything's still stock um, I got the bolt back in it was a royal pain but we did it so now we've got to get this car get the oil change in it and get it on the trailer ready for tomorrow but as far as the video goes, that is going to do it for this one. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the harness, um, how I installed it, anything that I might have missed, you know, throw me a comment down there. Um, I will talk a little bit about it in the next video um, when we're actually driving uh, because I'll, you know, I'll have kind of seen what it felt, uh, feels like inside the car. So, uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and as always, if you do want to see more content, please consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys coming out and watching. Peace.